Hello everyone, etc. here bringing you episode 17 of Desertopolis, a mod pack by Beben Law. Well, I truly think that we're now okay to be in the endgame. Let, let me just remove, seeing a death marker, oh, I just want to remove these death marker quickly. Um, I think that at this point, and that's what we're going to clarify today, we have everything to progress forward. Okay, uh, this might not be big enough though, like I might want a bigger reactor than that, but that means I'm going to need a lot of graphite and a lot of graphite means that I'm going to have to uh, just start producing like, uh, like automating. I've never really automated these. If you remember, I started and then I'm like, oh, I don't need to. Where are you? Thank you. Goodbye. All right. So I started. I had the goal of taking all of those and automating this. And then I'm like, oh, no, I'm not going to need that. There's no point in doing it. Yeah, I'm going to need it. So I'm going to have to look into it. Uh, these are my extract for like right now. I have a couple of things I want to check. I feel like this fuel thing is not working all the time or not working very fast. Are there, are there blocks, uh, upgrades that can be added? I think no. Okay. Because this is still my main source of coal. I'm probably going to need more coal chicken because I also started this. I never completed. This is making, um, pumpkins once in a while. I come here, grab the pumpkin. I craft them down and then I go downstairs and I mash them in here. Which means that at least now, all of my chickens are fully seeded all the time. Okay? Which means I can have more. And I will want to have more. Especially have more whole chicken. These chicken, oh, I need a lot more. I need so much coal because we're going to need to make so many coal singularities. Okay, let's go back upstairs. And then we can start about singularities. Oh, ouch. Yeah, this, this is hot. And then I... I've also found some way of dispersing heat right here. Uh, oh, this is really great. Okay, so let's take that. Okay, singularities. Let me show you something quickly. Oh, no. Ah, it disconnected again. Love this feature. Super love this feature. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay, so... If I take 64 mini coal and I come here, I can throw them in here and ha ha, it's using the millions of RF to make one. Now, there is a tiny problem with this. You don't have a hundred million RF. So now, now that it's taken the first 10 million, the next 90 million is just basically not pulling from here, apparently. Oh, 8,000, 32,000. Probably need a way of pulling more faster. This one is making 31,000. So, oh, that was my logic. Now I remember. My logic was I don't really need to pull more than what I'm actually making. But the truth is I do need to pull more than what I'm actually making. Let's make the next pipe upgrade just to see. And the reason I need to make more than what I'm actually pulling is that... um. There's a backlog and I want to be able to grab this backlog ASAP because there's a backlog of how much? There's another 16 million here. So technically, perfect. Technically right here, I, oh, this is going really well. I can now empty this storage. Perf. Yep. That's what I wanted to see. So like I said, I've got 60, the uh, 10 million in this and I've got uh, 16 million in this. So technically, I've got another 5 million here and another 10 million here. Technically, I could make a couple of battery and I don't know how far I can bring that up. So if I go to energy battery and I do this. Uh, really? Okay. I'm kind of surprised. I didn't know I was going to be able to make so many. 
25 million. I am going to maybe regret this resource while in a moment, but 41 million, 49 million, 57 million. Okay. How much crystallized mineral do I have? Ooh. It's going down fairly quick, but let's continue. Okay. Seventy-three, eighty-one, eighty-nine, oh, eighty-nine, ninety, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-nine, one hundred. Yes, I now need more crystallized mineral, but that's something we should be solving in a not too distant future. Okay, so we got this one done. And let's try. I don't want to be wasting anything though. So if I do this and then I do this and then I separate this. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah, sorry. Uh, one second. I just want to show you one thing. I put down a small reactor here. And I put down that small reactor because my idea is that that small reactor is going to power my base itself. And the big reactor would be just for the um, singularity crafting. Okay, so if I do this, now this is the thing that I'm curious to know. Uh, let me start another one. I'm going to come back here and say... Grab two sets of mini coal. So if I come here and I go like this. Is it grabbing from the battery? No, it's not grabbing from the battery. Uh, I can do this upgrade. So let's come right here and let's say I want to improve this into this and I want to improve this into this. Perfect. I can do this upgrade. And let's do this energy pipe right here. And if I go like this and I set this to extract. And I set this right here. Okay, battery is emptying. That's what I wanted to see. And this is not even keeping like, wow. Okay, but what it means is that when I want to make the next singularity, technically, I should have enough energy in my battery to just start the next uh, singularity and complete it in one go. So that's going to be like at least giving me a little buffer for the next one. I don't know how much this is consuming per tick though. And does it tell me anywhere? 100,000 FE per tick. And this can feed how much? 131,000 FE, FE per tick. So see, this is something I do not understand. If this can really consume 131 FE per tick, and this can feed 131 FE per thick, tick, why is this not filling? I should be providing it more power than it can eat. And the goal, look at this, look at this, wow. This is just amazing. Anyway. And the goal would be that uh, I would want a reactor that can feed, can generate a hundred thousand FE per tick, because then it could be continuously making uh, singularities. Okay, so we've got the singularity thing down, and we are really going to be able now, I think, to make our first infinite catalyst. Okay, and I think it's six at a time, but we're going to need a couple of things. So to make a infinity catalyst, we need one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen of these ingots. So let's go right here. Ingot. Let's grab sixteen. And I'm happy with that. Perfect. Then we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight record. 
art. You know what? I'm not going to take them from here. I'm going to take them from here because I also need to set that up to auto empty or else I'm not going to be able to make enough record. Then I'm going to need, oh, this is what I need. I need the star fuel. By the way, I did do all of these things during time lapse. So right now I can push all of the coal singularity in here and do this and go one, two, three, four, four star fuel. And we already have the next two started. And if I come here and grab two more stacks, I can technically, yeah, I knew this was going to be finished and put the next one also. Like we're now making singularities in a manner that seems appropriate. So we've got the four, oh no. Okay, so let's, we've got the four singularities. We're going to need four netherite mesh. We've got the four netherite mesh. And we've got the nine neutronium gear. Well, do I need nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, I've got the eight. Uh, we've got the neutron pile. We just need one two three four neutron pile from right here then we need the and this and this pearl and that's made how already oh yeah that's that was super fun and we need the uh four singularities now this one that's that's the one that i screwed up badly oh i've got four. Oh, i've got four okay so i didn't screw it up that badly I don't think that they, um, I'm not sure that this, I, well, no, I'm not sure. This is not going to be enough. I, I'm going to need to have more stone than that. Like this is ridiculous. It's still not enough, but I'm going to need a lot of those because like, right now, a part of me think that that's what the bottleneck will be. And I need some of these. How many of these do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know what? We think we've got everything we need. Is this one being used for anything? Yeah, so this is the interest. This is the, oh, this one has nothing. This one is this. I think I can use this one. Can I? Let's do this. Well, uh, I'm not sure why you're not crafting though, but it's not crafting. I know I can grab them, but I don't want to grab them. I would like this to auto craft. Urgh. Let's make our first infinity catalyst by hand. I don't know why it didn't craft it, but we now have our first infinity catalyst, which means we can now one, two, three, four, five. Oh yes. Which means we can make our first set of infinity ingots. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight neutron pile. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the, oh, I think we have everything so ingot one two three four five six seven eight perfect and then neutron one two three four uh, this and this and if I come here oh this one and I can select recipe two and Shift click this recipe too. And grab five infinity ingots. So we now have a way of making infinity ingots. Uh, sorry, infinity catalyst into infinity ingots, which means we are now in game ready to make infinity helmet, infinity chest plate. So let's just bookmark those. Yeah, it's working. I just wanted to make sure that it was. Uh, infinity pants, 
infinity boots and infinity pickaxe and if we go and look at those the infinity pickaxe is going to require one two three four five so that's one craft that we've done two craft three craft four craft and an extra craft of that and the neutronium ingot that's not going to be a problem and then this is going to require one two three four five so two craft this one's the most expensive so that's two craft of infinity ingots that's one two three four five one two three four five three four five so four craft of infinity ingot that's a lot also this one's also okay so basically the infinity boots is the only easy part but we're really on our way to do this now we've identified the bottlenecks bottlenecks are power then they're the singularity because these i'm not like i've got i need three more and i'm not even close to making the next one so i'm gonna have to start like just throwing items into it like crazy and ideally don't know what i can put into it let me just check something oh is it stupid give me a, give me a second okay let's go back right here i need how many of these do i need i need one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty three thirty four thirty five thirty seven thirty eight thirty nine 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 th
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 78. So I'm going to need 78 craft of this, which means 80. Because I can't make just 78. I need to make a bunch of five. I'm going to need 80 of those. To make 80 of those, I'm going to need 80 craft. Uh, sorry, I'm going to need 80, which means that I'm going to need 80 infinity catalyst because it's basically five for five. And I'm going to need two craft more. So 80 catalyst is uh, 40. No, it's... I have it's four no it's not four craft it's oh my god it's five per craft 80 divided by five is 15 16 ish uh, one second 80 divided by five is 16 okay so i'm gonna need 18 craft of this so for 18 craft of this i'm going to need 16 times four I'm going to need 64 singularities, not counting all of the other stuff. So if I come right up here and I look at end the rest pearl, just need to check already. So if I want 16 of these, it's going to need 64. Oh, I need more neutronium. It's going to need 16 nether star and this. So I think I can make these. This should not be a problem. Okay. Uh, the neutronium gear. Neutronium gear. I'm going to need how many? I'm going to need uh, 128. So can I do this? Oh no. Okay. So I'm going to be I'm going to be missing neutronium. <laughs> okay. So at least that is addressed properly. Uh, I was kind of wondering why, but it's basically just because I haven't transferred all of this, but. I'm probably going to be missing neutronium now. So if I go, I'm going to need to connect those to import into my system properly. Yeah, let's go downstairs and bring that downstairs. And go back up. Neutronium. If I said I want 128. I'm shocked. So apparently, I can also do this, which if which if this is the case, it's going to prove exactly what I was saying about what's my bottleneck. So let's just, if I do this, yes, I should have everything that I need to craft this. That's interesting. Okay, and the rest pearl, they're still crafting. Okay, so here's, I think I know what's going on. If I come here, no, no, no. Yeah, they're here. Okay, so it's still missing. Wow. Oh, it's, sorry, it's going as fast as this can empty. So this is emptying in the item hopper, which is not really fast. And by the time the next, it gets to the next step, this gets done. So let me take those two and show these in here. Nope. Like this. Now, yeah, see this one's auto crafting. So at least this is starting to craft the 16. It's just everything else around, but, but that means that it's going to end, end up doing what it needs to do at some point. It just needs to put all of the ender pearl in all of the spots like one at a time. So this is just going to complete itself uh, slowly. But my biggest problem is honestly going to be the singularity. That, that's really like, wow, that's crazy. <sighs> this one's not balanced again. So I'm going to really need to just massively produce these things. And just go crazy on this. Which means I'm also going to need to have a bit more of the ender pearls and the uh, compressed iron and all of the things that needs to be crafted. And I need to have more power. Uh, not more power. I need to make sure that 
I'm getting enough pressure and this is basically not going fast enough for the power because what I want to be able to do is if I come here and I say uh, let's let's just grab some coal let's grab some more coal like this what are the speed upgrade speed upgrade these can I make more of these So for that, I need more of the um, lubricant. Perfect. So I do have lubricant. So I can come here and do this. Okay, let's start with that. And now where's my coal? Well, the coal needs to be pressurized into graphite dust. Perfect. I just wanted to make sure I was looking at the right thing. The problem is the 64. So right here, got 4.9 pressure. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the max number of upgrade, which is 10. And if I put 64 in here, I lost. Oh, not so bad, actually. Okay, let me just check quickly if I take this out. And I go in here. I put these also. Perfect. And I go and I do this. Let's see if I grab the next 64, what it's going to do to the pressure. So that's another 64 coal. All right, some more. Let's go see, is this back up? No, so I'm going to let that go back up to at least four. I want to know, because let's say that I'm just pushing 64 at a time all the time to be making more graphite. At this, at some point, it's just going to get stuck because there's not going to be enough pressure. Okay, it's going to be at four in a moment. Almost there. 64 should be inputted quickly, but we went down to 1.9, which is not enough pressure to transform. Now it's transforming, going in the output, and already. If I had another 64 right now, so let's come back right here to coal. I'm just going to wait to get two stacks of 64 because that's basically what I want to see. I want to see if I can almost constantly feed it that makes sense i'm gonna wait for at least another 64. while i'm waiting i'm here for the singularities oh and basically what i'm going to be doing for the singularity is um i'm going to just craft like i know that i'm going to need 16 of this 16 of this 16 of this 16 of this so 16 of those is 64 uh, energetic alloy. So I'm going to go right here to energetic alloy. I'm going to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Start. And I'm just going to go and do that in the background. Then I'm going to make the 16 energetic alloy singularity. Where did I put you? I could have just ordered them from here, basically. So I, I can, I cannot use this because this doesn't have enough energy. So until I have a bigger reactor and I have more energy, like right here, until I resolve the energy problem here. See, this one's going to be finished. Going to start the next one in a moment. Hello. Great. Start the next one. Uh, I'm just going. <clears throat> I'm going to have one compactor that's making uh, the other kind and the other one just doing the coal. So where's my coal right now? Perfect. That's what I wanted. So if I come here and I do this. Okay. Then I'm curious to see how many stacks it's going. See, I don't think it even took a stack because there wasn't enough pressure. And now, like, honestly, I just don't know what it's doing right now. Okay. Putting things in here. 
and outputting. So we already have a stack generated and not enough pressure. So I don't know how much pressure it needs to transfer a full stack. As you can see, it's until we have enough pressure, it won't give a full stack. So this is going to be a bit painful. Oh, and by the way, we can make this pressure chamber accept more pressure. Um, I think they're called security upgrade, security upgrade. Um, old shift to see what uses this upgrade. That's not what I want. I want to know what it's going to do. Upgrades. Uh, vol oh no, it's volume upgrade. Increase the air capacity of the machine by two times something to the something where something is something of the something. Stored causing a pressure drop. Removing upgrades keeps the pressure constant, losing air from the machine. So we're definitely going to want some volume upgrade. Um, shouldn't be too hard to make. So if I come here and I make some air canister, one, two, or can we make some pressure upgrade or volume upgrade? Sorry. So if we come here and we do this, well, this was not a great success. I think now it has more space in it to, to store gas. So it's looking for more. This might not have been a good idea to do, to be honest. Look at this base volume, 16,000 with four volume upgrade. We can basically put four times more uh, air pressure in here. Which is probably why it's not, not going up fast enough because it has more space to fill. But the advantage of this is that once it starts going well, like if there's a backlog, it means I should be able to process. Oh! Where's. I think it's all in there. I think like there's like four stacks in there. Is that even possible? Let's watch what happens when this reaches 1.5. Going up very slowly compared to before, but it's because of the extra volume. And yeah, the moment we reach 1.5, some transform and gets carried over. Okay, so this is not looking so bad. But what I'd like to do is I would much more prefer using either power or another way of generating. Uh, so this is not super good in the sense that we need so many and it has a maximum of five. So if I look at compressor, the advanced liquid compressor can go to 20. Okay. And my understanding, if I go downstairs, is that I have more than enough uh, fuel right here. Like, see, these are all full. 32, 32, 32. Oh, no. 32, 270. So, no, they're not all full, but most of them, like, most of them are staying full. So technically, I should be able to use a liquid compressor with that. So let's just look at the liquid compressor. No, that one, it's the advanced liquid compressor that we want. This is a flux advanced liquid compressor. I need a liquid. Com okay, wait, I need a small fluid tank and then I need a an air compressor. Ugh. All right, let me just, you know what? Let me just, can I grab one of you here? If I grab you, are you going to screw my whole pressure system? No, perfect, this closed. I'm going to grab this air compressor because I don't want to make another one. And let's just go right here and say, we want an advanced air compressor. No! Oh! Don't want you. <laughs> this is not what I wanted. I'm sorry. I did the wrong thing. So this is a flux compressor. So this is an advanced air compressor. 
but let's reset that one so that we have pressure still working. So if I come right here and do this. Now, the difference is that this one, oh, this one also needs the temperature control. That's that's right. I kind of forgot that, but I have no, I didn't forget that. I didn't forget that because that's what I'm prepping for the uh, other compressor. I'm already planning on using on having that extra um, that that extra power. So let me grab this one. Yes, it closed. Perfect. So that's exactly what I wanted. And come back here and put this right here. Let's try and not screw up. Let's do the right compressor this time. We want this one, liquid compressor, so that we can do the advanced liquid compressor like this. Okay, now, better than cold. The reason I want the advanced liquid compressor is that technically, eh, oh, Technically, this can run from um, lava or fuel. So right now, what is this set to? This one's set to lava. I don't want to do... Okay, I don't want the water from this. So let's pick this. Perfect. And let's put this... Can I do this? I don't think that might be a good idea, but let's try this for a moment. Uh, that's a hopper, not a flopper. Wait. Did the hopper become a... F oh, no. Perfect. I was like, how did this happen? So let's do this. And let's grab another flopper. Flopper right here. This is ugly as hell, but it should work. Yeah, so it's working. So it's putting things in in this advanced compressor, and this advanced compressor is now producing air, but it's going to have a temperature problem. But it's not really, because now we're going to use heat sink, and we're going to do something that I just learned watching a video while on vacation. If I grab this heat sink, and I say, make some more. And then there's some heat pipe, right? Like here. And I say, give me some heat pipe. So apparently I can go like this. And Do this. Oh, ouch. And this should be grabbing temperature from here, which means if I put a speed upgrade now, this should be now generating way faster. So this is now producing a lot of bars. How much is this producing? So this is producing 10 milliliter per tick, and this is producing 26 milliliter per tick. And it's using that infinite lava that we, well, infinite lava, not necessarily infinite lava. And this is keeping things cool by just basically transferring the, the heat from here. So I could make also the same setup right here. So for this one here that I'm trying to keep cool. Why is it not transferring faster? Maybe I need some speed transfer. But anyway, so this is now making a lot more um, glare. So technically, I should now be in a situation where I can um, where I can keep feeding this. And if I come here and I grab some lapis block, you guys remember lapis block is what makes mineral and we're out of mineral. So now I can go like this. And this is technically, look at this. It's moving down, but look at how fast it's moving back up. The reason, okay, so it had a lot of air in it, but now it lost all of its air volume. And how is this going? This is still producing 26, so that's going really well. And what's the efficiency? Running at 
I kind of like that. So when you're saying I need to cool it down below 50, I probably would need like a setup like this. Is this below 50? Yeah, this one's way below 50. So this one is producing and it's just taking forever to go in those. Can I get some more speed upgrade? Oh, speed upgrade. Let's just do this and let's put the tank right here. Oh, well, that's all there is, folks. So I'm going to have to make some more lubricant. But if I come here and I do this, not really going that much faster, is it? Because in here, we've got 10 bars of pressure. But I don't know why it's not filling faster. 8.4, 8.5, like it's taking forever to charge my armor. The problem also with the armor is that I don't want to have my, like when I take my legs off, I'm no longer walking fast and jumping super high. So that's not ideal. And right now you can see that I'm overheating a little bit because I don't have my full armor. So I can do this and then put this one and I should be good. Look at this. Oh, this is beautiful. Aha. Okay, so I can come back here and I'm going to throw all of the mineral in here. And the graphite dust I need to cook. Where's the furnace? Wait, you don't cook in there? Oh. Is it in, it's an alloy only. Okay. We do this. Oh yes. Oh yes. Okay. I'm going to use you quickly just to cook everything into graphite, but that's how I'm going to make my big reactor better. So we really have solved all of the problems and right now, well, solved all of the problems. We're really in a good place problem wise. What we need, though, is really just to jack up the production of Singularity. It's absolutely my total bottleneck right now. I would have thought that the Singularity, sorry, the other types of Singularity was going to be my bottleneck. But as of now, my real bottleneck are basically going to be just producing enough item to feed that nightmare machine. I've got the 617 six, uh, alloy. So if I go to Singularity right here, I should be able to say, make one of those. If I go back down, I'm going to tank my energy. Oh, that was so stupid. Yeah, that was extremely stupid because I've just tanked the power to all of my other machine. I completely forgot that I needed to move the singularity to here first. I need to make sure that this one is always producing. So let's grab some tiny coal. And just, I need to make sure that this is just always producing the next and the next and the next. So one, two, three, four, I can put four more. Let's come back here. I need coal, no, no, just coal. One, two, three, four. So this is something I need to be careful not to forget because that's quickly going to become another one of my bottleneck. I'm going to need a lot of those. Oh, I'm going to need 16s time four. I'm going to need 64. I'm going to need more nether star also. Okay, so this is all safe and ongoing. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to be bringing all of that uh, pressure generation downstairs because I'm going to want the pressure if i come back here and i go just want to see how much two more is going to do 58 oh wow so this one right now is as good as five of these one two out one two one two three or five. Yeah, so that one generator is making more than all of the other generator. This one is also not doing bad, to be honest. How much is it creating? Eight, 1850? You know what? Come to me. 
let's put you get rid of you put you right here ow and let's see can i connect you in a smart way just give me some pipes Perfect, you're connected. I need some coal. What I'm trying to see is can this both be kept cool? So this one knew no, the temperature started going way high, and this one too. Okay, so this might not be enough sink. So let's come back right here to sink. Okay, so I want seven, I think. So if I do this and this, this. How much am I dissipating now? Hmm. Ow, this is not dissipating as much as I thought it was going to. So right now, I went down to 89 which means that I'm making 44 instead of 58. Uh, no, sorry. Right now, this one went down to 88, which means I'm doing 55 instead of 58. You know what? That's, that's good. And this is also good. So these two compressor together are really doing much more than all of the other ones. So I just need to see if there's a bit more cooling I can do. I know that if I use the vortex tube, I could be doing a little bit more cooling. Oh, and as for the vortex tube, let's do the same thing. Let's come back right here and grab some more heat sink. Let's remove that and put the heat sink tube. And let's look at it now. Okay, so south temperature is really going down. This is, wow. Like this is completely, absolutely sub-zero cool now. No problem. And yeah. Okay, so this is working very well. Producing 118. And using how much flux per tick? Um... Base efficiency of 40%. It takes 100 FE to generate 40 milliliter. Right now, I wish that it... Can I not see how much it's using right now? But rate, but reduce conversion efficiency. I'm, I'm not finding the information. That's kind of sad. But... Oh, my boots are already full. Now, see, that's the one that loses me all of the ability to move in a timely manner. So oh, this is not one I like, but I need to recharge it once in a while. Let's just go back here and get rid of all of this and ask for coal. Perfect. Uh, let's put that in here. Oh. <laughs> I don't need that, and I want some lapis again. Let's come back here. Like I don't want this to explode, and if I don't keep feeding it stuff, it's probably going to explode at some point, so just need to make sure that it's always using the air. My leggings are almost full, and oh wow, how many singularities? We've already done three more. Okay, so all of this is going really well uh my leggings are almost recharged and that's probably because we've got a better flow now i don't need them at a hundred percent let's just do this okay so right here let me check this again and this again i'm going to need to look at my lava fluid i just i might be out of love already 3.9 k so no, I'm still good on lava for now. Okay, so great. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and this, and I'm going to move those downstairs. And I'm going to be making more of those uh, 
those high pressure what was it again just want to make sure that i have the proper recipe it's pressure chamber valve which is this but i can make pressure chamber valve like this so block of compressed iron compressed oh no you're pressureless okay so see i'm always getting into the same issue whatever i do i need pressure everywhere so i really want to connect everything into a bigger pressure system and what i think is going to happen is that at some point uh i think that you can make this uh pr a pressure chamber that will hold more pressure so that you end up in a situation I'm, I'm okay just give me a second i just want to make sure that i'm doing this properly because i don't want to be losing any air pressure i need all of my air pressure okay so that's good so if i connect it here yeah perfect so now this is also sharing pressure with this which is going to take a long while you get enough i don't even know if this can brings enough pressure fast enough because this is using all of it but at least everything's connected nothing should blow up now so what i was trying to say is what i really want to do is connect the three downstairs so that i can at least have different chambers uh collecting pressure and that i can then uh, make sure that i'm feeding some more mineral if i need more mineral because now if i come here and i look at mineral we had thousand and we're back to thousand so technically i could make another hundred million battery but really my most important point right now is to make more of those which means i'm going to need more chicken i'm going to go into a time lapse and in that time lapse i'm just going to finagle a little bit with the pressure generation what i would like which is not necessarily possible but what i would like is i would like to figure out a way of being able to just run off a couple of air generation and feed all of my machines like the fact that this one needs so this one needs heat okay so definitely this one needs to be cooled but if this one needs heat uh i wonder if i cannot provide it with heat from these like these are both generating heat so if i put it into a heat pipe will the heat pipe keep this hot like i i need to do just a little bit of experimenting with that to figure out what's going to be my solution and then i can start venting all of that heat see this one's not working because it's not connected and i'm going to need some more lubricant for more speed upgrade but all of that is after i just duplicate this once or twice more i think i'm gonna have to fill the whole place with these oh my god i have so many it's not going faster than this whole episode 50 minutes and we got second singularity and we're not even at one quarter one oh so we've passed one tenth of the second one so i really need just to produce a lot more where is it it's here so the stone is always out but like i said i'm just going to need to make a lot more stone there there's just no other if and buts around it uh tick rate of stone is every 10 resource gen want to check one last thing like i'm just hoping to find a different solution but okay so these are all the things that i can make and none of these are yeah so none of these can be broken down into more component mood sandstone red sandstone yeah no they're all sandstone so
maybe oh no that's three to six like it's not worth it like i'm just trying to find a mechanism by which i could duplicate my material and i don't think that i can right now yeah uh no so i'm really going to just need to suck it up and make a lot more of those which means i'm also going to need a lot more nether star which is also why having the more pressure is good let's go right here nether star i come right here see that's not done so there's no point putting more stuff in here until i've managed uh completely emptied this I have to admit, it's really hard on the upbeat when both of the series that you're playing are both at the stage of super mega just grind. So I'm just going to have to attack this slowly and just attack the grind one step at a time. And you know what? I'm, I'm going to go and fix the singularity issue, like generating more stone. But the new pneumatic craft setup so that we have a bit better pneumatic craft going to do that in the next episode with you guys because at this point i'm just waiting for stuff to get produced and until all of the stuff that i need is produced there's really not that much point in uh like just trying to mass produce in time lapse when i do need to progress forward so i'm also going to keep in mind that i need more of these blocks so uh come reinforced so how much more can i add of these I'm missing 481. So that's really the graphite is my problem. I'm just going to have to also automate the graphite production. As for the seed, like this is, oh, this is beautiful. So at least we've solved the seed problem. Well, I'll still need to craft, but look at this. Full of pumpkin seeds. So can these even be fed to them? I think so. But that means that we're at least in a good position when it comes to seed, which means that technically we can have more chicken and more chicken means more resource. So like I said, I'm going to put a couple more cold chicken. Everywhere I look, I see work, work, work and work to be done. So I really need to go into my time lapse and solve the stones problem. And I'm, I don't think I'm going to make stone. I think I'm just going to make cobblestone, but I'm going to make sure that I'm mass feeding the, uh, the system i just no i don't have pellets guys please leave a comment if you guys have any idea of any resource that could be multiplicative what i mean so like technically this if i go like this let's say i wanted to feed iron to my uh, singularity making i wouldn't feed it iron because this is six iron i would be feeding it iron bar because one uh, six of them becomes 16. so it's basically like saying 6 12 it's like 2.4 per same thing i wouldn't be feeding it coal directly i would be feeding it mini coal but right now looking at these resources there's nothing in here that I'm producing in enough quantity or fast enough to like, see, this is only two. It's not multiplicative. There's nothing in here that would make it worth the uh, investment other than just mass producing cobblestone. If you guys have seen something, have thought of something that I've not seen, I am 100% open to any suggestion at this point. Because, like you said, I want to be able to complete the series in a timely manner. And when I say timely manner, I mean in not having to wait for like 200 hours of recording. That is not the goal. Like, I've already solved the new... I thought this was going to be the problem. That's called misreading a game. I would say the second you can hit the matter condenser, that's what you have to start working on. So that's what I'm going to be working on. I'm just going to be mass producing this and we'll see in the next episode where we're at. Guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.
Bye now.